Alright, so this is going to be a pretty uneventful video really. I just wanted to show you some stuff. You know, I told you guys I lived out in, out in the country in Kentucky and everything like that. And uh, last night and for the most part, you know, throughout the day, uh, we got some snow. I mean, not a whole lot, but, you know, enough to make the countryside look all purdy and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the Kentucky countryside with a little bit of snow looks like. You know, like I said, nothing and a whole lot exciting, but it's pretty. Now we live out here and there's a bunch of farmland and stuff like that. driving, you know, filming through windows and windshields and everything, but and this right here is a uh, smokehouse. A lot of farmers around here grow tobacco and everything, and uh, they have to season it and everything like that, so they'll put it outside, or they'll put it in those barns and smoke it. Um, they gotta smoke it before you can smoke it, I guess. But uh, it's kind of neat because you can, you'll drive by and you'll see everything's on, you know, smoke billowing out of it, almost looks like a damn barn on fire. But and uh, and you go through and you can, you know, smell the smoke of whatever it is they're seasoning it with. It's quite a delightful smell most of the time. This field out here, a lot of times you'll see deer hanging out and stuff right now. They're probably chilling out in the wood line, burled up next to a tree or something like that, saying, Fuck, it's cold! Trying to get some of the actual fills, so, you know, just filming the damn rear view mirror the whole time. tripod in here or anything like that or anything to fasten it down with so I apologize I apologize for the shaky camera oh check it out got a, little, got a cow sitting there got lots of cattle around these parks and uh, in most of these fields um, they switch you know every other year growing corn one year and then soy being the next uh, I honestly don't know what they're growing this year I don't remember what they grew last year or the year before that so All right, we're coming up right now on the river see the See the riverbank covered in snow, even along the top of the dam there. The river's kind of high and muddy right now. And here's the river from the other side. Just wanted to show you guys that a little bit. There's a little bit more around where I live. A little empty field there, some cut down trees and everything. I don't think this video is really going to do it justice.
guess you guys can see it that well. But with all the little trees out there, it almost looks like a really shitty Christmas tree farm, you know? Got some grain silos right there, another worn down, tore up barn. You see them all over the place. There's one there that's past its prime. Damn thing's ready to come down. With all the wind we've been having and stuff like that, I mean, I wouldn't surprise if it came down pretty soon. I think the only thing holding it up is the tree that it's leaning against. But I wanted to show you guys something here. This field across here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Now you don't see them right now, but out in this field, a lot of the times, you'll see like 20, 30 deer just hanging out, you know, just eating grass or whatever, just chilling. 20, 30 of them easy, just all over the place. Insane how many deer you can see out there sometimes. Well, just wanted to show you that and give you a little look at them, what, you know, the Kentucky countryside can look like with a little bit of snow on it. Hope you enjoyed. If I wasn't three ball Josh, I'd wish I was.